The US Congress, scene of the final ideological battles threatening long-term troubles for the United States economy. The phrase fiscal cliff coined by the head of the US Central Bank, Ben Bernanke, refers to the shock measures that were intended to focus partisan politicians' minds and get them to compromise and agree spending cuts and tax increases. If they didn't, automatic, tougher deficit reductions would come into force at the start of the new year. Without those automatic spending cuts and tax rises, the US budget deficit, the shortfall for 2013, would be just over $1 trillion, four times what it was before the crisis. The fiscal cliff measures reduced the deficit to $600 billion. The $430 billion difference includes $300 billion in federal tax hikes, mostly income tax. Low earners would see it jump from 10 to 50 the richest would pay 39% instead of 35. Nine out of ten Americans are affected by these increases. The average American family would see their tax bill rise by up to $3,500 per year. And that's not all. Government spending cuts account for another $100 billion, half of that from the defence budget. The rest comes mainly from social programs, particularly affecting poorer Americans. They include health insurance for the elderly and the disabled. Benefits to over two million long-term unemployed would also end, along with assistance to those living in low-income housing. The deficit would certainly be reduced, but with a hugely negative impact on the US economy, trimming an estimated 4% off gross domestic product and pushing the country back into recession, causing unemployment to rise to 9% of the workforce. That would be a massive shock to the US economy, and experts say that it would quickly sink into recession in the early months of 2013, with the effects rippling out through the global economy as well.